Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again. I'm Shannon, as usual, and this week I'm going to be reviewing the Shoto Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan God SS Vegeta from Bandai. So stay tuned. So, hey guys, welcome to Come Again. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Uh, arg! <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. As I said, this is the Shoto Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan God SS Vegeta from Bandai. Uh, I just got this from uh, in the mail today. I ordered it off of Amazon. He's actually smaller than I expected. I'm a little disappointed in that because this was a $20 figure and he's pretty small. As you can see, compared to the uh, 2001 Android Saga Vegeta, uh, he's actually quite a bit smaller. So um, yeah, not too impressed right off the bat. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at this packaging. All right, so you do have a nice look to the packaging. Um, not too bad, you got it in uh, Japanese as well. Bandai 2016. Um, the lineup so far is Sun Goku and Golden Frieza, as well as Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Oh, and that was Super Saiyan God Goku, too. Um, <laughs> the rest of it, I can't really make out because it is in Japanese. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and take a look inside. does seem to open very easy um, now that I say that <laughs> there we go there we go okay he does open up fairly easy he does come with extra hands um, He came in kind of a clamshell type packaging. <clears throat> very small, very... Let me go ahead and... Let me go ahead and lower this back down a minute. Very small, very comparable to the old uh, mask M-A-S-K figures. Um, that's about the same size as they were. Um, disappointed in the size for the price I expected him to be a little bit bigger like I said there he is next to the Android Saga 2001 Dragon Ball Z Vegeta figure um, I've had this Vegeta ever since he was released uh, but he does have a lot more articulation than this Vegeta as you can see the Android Saga Vegeta, he is quite dusty, he sits up on my shelf. Just has standard arm rotation at the shoulders. No elbow joint, no wrist. Uh, head, swivel, legs up and down, and knee. No ankle tilt, no ab crunch, no waist articulation. That's it on him. Alright guys, sorry about that. I had my camera set on super, super high definition. It was saying I only had like five minutes of filming time and I was at like four minutes something seconds. So I had to go ahead and change that to a standard high def. Um, but as you can see, he does have uh, head swivel. It rotates all the way around plus a neck rocker giggity giggity 
can move kind of side to side get that little uh uh oh no you didn't <laughs> um, as well as up and down you got the shoulder swivel all the way around as well as the joint go up and down as well as the bicep swivel right up oh, whoa that was unexpected he lost his arm uh, as I said or as you saw it is on a ball joint um, they come apart fairly easily then you got the elbow joint which is just a standard man for the price these things sure come apart awfully easy too then wrist once again on a not really a ball joint but a peg system you can change them out very easy to change out but the pegs aren't really all that long I don't like that and it, they don't stay in very well they don't stay in very well at all I'm sorry guys my kids are walking around in the background so you'll have to bear with me all right guys so <clears throat> He does have the head turn all the way around and go up and down or up and down and then he's got another ball joint I don't know if you can see it right there at the neck too so you can do the giggity giggity <laughs> or the uh 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 oh no you didn't side to side <laughs> Then you got the shoulders go up down all the way around now <clears throat> something i don't care for is this thing comes apart very easily uh, you got the elbow joint <laughs> the hand it's just a peg system really they come up they come apart really easily i don't like that for the price i don't really care for that um you got the uh let's see you got the waist mm, go up and down turn around let's see does yep ball joint as well then you got the hip can't really go out that far because of this part here And that's the same with both sides <clears throat> then you've got well it looked like there was thigh swivel but there's not um, so you got knee articulation uh, no calf swivel but you got the ankle rocker on a ball joint once again comes off very very easily I'm not liking that at all I... and the peg system for the hands it's very loose I, I don't very sorry about that guys I got the windows open it's a nice day out and the size I can't get over the size difference I mean he's just so small for for a $20 figure you know I really expected a lot more than what I got I think I may have to return him which is sad because I really like Vegeta 
he's probably my favorite Dragon Ball Z character. Um, <clears throat> but he's just... For the price, he's not worth it. I mean, this Vegeta from the Android Saga. Hold on. So, again, for the price, it's not... He's not really worth it. Um, I mean, I the paint job is good. I really like the look. Um, he fits. There we go. He it looks like Vegeta. I mean, he really does, but. And I mean, I love the paint. Paint is really good. The head. Everything just comes apart way too easily. Um, he's so small. It's just, uh, I don't know. I may just, re I'm, I probably will end up returning him, but this is it, guys. The uh, Shoto Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan God SS Vegeta from Bandai. Uh, $20 on Amazon. I honestly don't think it's worth it. I really don't. So there you have it, guys. Take care. And of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.